everyone. Thank you for joining today's Words of Wisdom with Prayer. Today, I would like to talk about a topic that is hold many people's interest in this third dimensional world, which is many of us, even once in our lifetime, we feel inferior about our physical appearance. What is physical appearance? It could be our face features, our body shape, and so on. So, I would like you to ask yourself, have you ever had any physical inferior complex? For me, I do. Especially we Asian ladies, we, most of us, are always affected by the trend. And recently, there are many Asian idols who has really slim body shape and so on. That makes us feel inferior about our physical appearance, our body shape. So, let me tell you that actually, these worries are really endless. And many of these worries just happens because we compare ourselves to others. Even one part of the body, like the eyes, mouth, face feature, arm, legs, and so on, that makes us feel a sense of inferiority complex just by comparing to other people. However, what we should really compare is not what we can see, but what we cannot see, which is our mind. Because we will eventually grow old one day, and this all physical appearance is not really important. Master Okawa taught us that our mind and thought are the secret that makes our appearance shine. Let me give you an example. When a person has an ordinary face, whether he's a male or she's a female, if he or she is very energetic and always give out positive vibes to the person around her or him, those around him or her will also become really cheerful and energetic as well. And this can actually make them appear to be much better and more wonderful than they actually are just by looking at their physical appearance. Therefore, we can understand that people will not necessarily become popular because of good appearance. This is because when you have strong will power, strong power of thought, and a power of sincerity deep inside your mind, this will make people feel like you have an aura that shines inside you, and they will not look through you from your outside, but from your inner side. That is why Master Ryuhokawa mentioned, your mind shapes your appearance. So the figure of your mind just appears through your physical appearance if you have a beautiful mind. So Master gave us another example, which is even if two brothers are born from the same parents and look alike from the outside, if their soul power is different, if their mind is different, they will look completely different. That is a really easy to understand example, isn't it? So after learning this Buddha's truth, we can understand that we, me and you, we do not need to feel inferior about our physical appearance. Of course, it doesn't mean that you can wear sloppy to work every day or outside, or you do not care about your image towards others. We still need to be clean and tidy, of course, and take care of our outer appearance. But we do not need to affect our mind or become inferior just because of what we are born with, which is our physical appearance. On top of that, let us keep our mind right. Let's put, give ourselves a right mind and believe that our true beauty shines from the inside. Thank you so much. And now let us move on to the prayer.
Lord El Kamtare, Master Riho Okawa, thank you very much for giving us your great light every day. We practice the principles of happiness, love, wisdom, self-reflection, and progress to make the world better with our brothers and sisters. With our gratitude, we will recite the true word spoken by Buddha, prayer to the Lord, and prayer to guardian and guiding spirits. The true word spoken by Buddha, Ryuho Ogawa. There used to be the light in the great universe. The light is the energy of Buddha. People can live by this energy, and Buddha's energy has made human history. It will be supplied eternally. This eternal light comes from heaven and prevails on earth. This is the light of heaven. Through the prism of Buddha, there appear the seven colors of rainbow arching over in the sky. Here you can see Buddha's mercy. Yellow is the color of teaching. White is the color of saving. Red is the color of justice. Purple is the color of obedience. Blue is the color of thinking. Green is the color of harmony. Silver is the color of progress. These seven colors help each other, and there appears Buddha Land. Buddha Land is shining brightly because of gathering of bodhisattvas. This is the land of love or the land of mercy. This is the land of wisdom or the land of teaching. Especially, this is the land of souls rest in peace. Real souls are the children of Buddha. The children of Buddha became real human beings. Real human beings have spirituality. The spirits are immortal powers. The spirits are immortal forces. The spirits are real entities. The physical bodies are the shadows of the spirits. It means you are the boat sailing down the great river. The great river is a symbol of the course of life. Each of you sails down as a small boat, so you need a boatman. If it were not for your own boatman, you surely go aground. This boatman really means your mind. If your mind makes a mistake, the boat breaks into pieces by a large rock, and you also need a bamboo pole. This pole is the meaning of the true words. When you go down a rapid stream, you need to pond in a stream. Then you can change your course. The true words means the teaching of Buddha. Buddha enlightened and spoke the true words, and Buddha's teaching became a gold mine. This gold mine suggests various teachings. These are another expression of Buddha's strength. It brightens up your days. Or, to put it another way, the fruits of Buddha's mercy. All of you, now, here, listen to me. Never lose your way, now and forever. The guiding hand has already waved. Please follow this white hand and go straightly on and on. Your lives are not limited to this world only. There are three aspects, the past, the present, the future. Your past have already gone by, yet still, your mistakes will be kept in your minds. That is the reason why you should understand other people, and you yourself should reflect on what you have done. You and others are not different. On the contrary, both are children of Buddha and brothers and sisters. Now then, love each other. Let us bring up each other and it's time to forgive each other. This is the eternal law which penetrates the present and the future. Yes, indeed, the light of the dark night. The dark night of this world is hell. It is also the same in another world. Since you came down to this world, the sun of the truth is scheduled to rise. Now we are watching rising sun. It will shed light to the future to invite sad people to Buddha land. Now here I command. There shall not be conflict in this world. There shall not be distrust in this world. There shall not be crime in this world. There shall not be evil spirit in this world. There shall not be the devil in the next world. Only the ideal world, Utopia, shall be realized. All of the people, love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is Utopia. All of us could be the light of Bodhisattvas, believing that the light has reality, believing that love has reality, believing that the truth has reality, these are the facts that should be conveyed. We, the light of bodhisattvas, get together, work together, to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here, we vow to do so.
Prayer to the Lord, our Lord El Cantare, you are the source of all light, all power, all wisdom, and all love. May you give us light, give us power, give us wisdom, and give us love. O oh Lord, our Father, please protect this planet of love earth, protect us from all evil, and open a future for us. O oh Lord, thank you for giving us light, we give thanks from the bottom of our hearts. Prayer to Guardian and Guiding Spirits My Guardian and Guiding Spirits, live inside of me. You are the fountain of life, the light of hope, the source of wisdom, and the shield of courage. Every day, may you help me develop my soul and refine my mind. Every day, may you give me inspiration and show me the right path to follow. Please protect me from all evil and guide me in living a better life. For this, I give my thanks.